So it's kind of late to make this kind of video with, you know, week one happening this Saturday, or actually Thursday with some games. But at least with Texas Longhorns and most teams, we'll start this Saturday. Texas starts with Rice. Yay. And I'll, of course, make a Rice video uh, coming up later this week. But this is a, one of the videos I try to do every year. Uh, partially, you know, previewing the conference, but as well talking about um, getting people on here on YouTube, uh, talking about their team and representing their team on here. Um, and we really need this for this season for the Big 12. One, because, you know, after this season, the Big 12 as we know it won't be here anymore. Um, so, you Nebraska guys, which I think we've got a few things like a Huskers in New York guy uh, on there. I, I, I don't know all the guys. And it, But for, first off, if you are making YouTube videos right now and you're repping a college football team, especially a Big 12 team, um, let me know. Let Onikuno know. Uh, J. Way Shocks, uh, Nick, uh, or Sooner Sun too. Any of those guys, just let us know, and so we'll know who to talk to uh, when your week comes up when you're playing the Horns of the Sooners. Uh, and really, that's that's kind of the thing. And also, Texas Longhorns fans um, really hadn't seen a whole lot of you guys uh, lately. A lot of the guys, you know, kind of dropped off or came you know, back and forth and stuff. I want to see a lot more guys because. Uh, you know, I've been doing this thing for a couple of years. I'd like to have a couple more Horns guys on here, uh, you know, to, to, to be solid for week to week. Because the Sooners guys, uh, they've got, you know, three or four guys who uh, make weekly videos and they haven't missed yet. Uh, so Longhorns guys, you know, step it up a little bit. And, um, you know, we can, so we have to see. This is going to be a good team this year. Um, it's going to be a, a different team. We're going to see how good they are. Well, I'm not sure either. Um, but any of you Big 12 guys, because right now I think, I feel like Nebraska's going to get pretty good influx this year because, you know, they're ranked number eight in the country. Um, they're pretty much guaranteed to be in the Big 12 championship because the North is pitiful. Um, you know, but I do I want to see some more Tech guys. You know, we got Jickless and we got some other guys. Um, uh, tech, Texas A&M, going to be a good team. Got some Aggies on here. Uh, but just more of you guys coming out and let me know uh, if you're making videos and stuff so we'll know uh, how to get in contact and stuff uh, and make each week um, – fun because a lot of times uh, and especially this first we're going to play a bad team that's one thing um, but when you start getting into conference play it, it's a lot more fun you know when it, when you're making these videos when I'm doing Texas Tech or Texas A&M or Oklahoma because they have fans that I can interact with and we can make bets or talk trash whatever that kind of stuff um, but a lot of times you know when you're playing Baylor Iowa State Kansas State Kansas uh, there's no pushback you know it's just me getting on here talking about why Texas is going to win or, or whatever so just more you guys, rep your team, and it'll be a lot more fun uh, for everybody. The SEC is big time growing. Uh, big 12, we'd like to see that a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, so talk, but talking about this season, you know, about the Big 12 and what it looks like, I really do think to call it wide open would be wrong, um, but I think it had the chance of being like that. You know, back in 2008, and I've said this before, I think 2008 for this conference was one of the most fun years to watch Big 12 football. Um, you know, you had the three-way tie, and, you know, Texas didn't get out of that. And so, like I said, the end result wasn't fun, but, of course, leading up to that was great. You, know, you had three teams, Texas Tech, Texas, Texas Tech, and uh, Oklahoma. Plus, Oklahoma State was making a run there at one point, um, you know, looking like a pretty good team. So, uh, this could be a year like that, but it's not as sexy as that year. You know, that year coming in, you know, you it's just – you look at this season coming in, actually. You got, you know, Landry Jones, Garrett Gilbert – you know, Potts slash Sheffield, those names don't really carry the kind of clout that, you know, back in 2008 when you had Colt McCoy, Sam Bradford, and uh, Graham Harrell, and guys like that. Now, Gerard Johnson's still around. Gerard Johnson is the most um, most uh, proven quarterback in this conference, and so he should be the best quarterback in this conference. We'll find out if that's true or not, uh, but right now he should be crowned that. Um, but, you know, you look at these teams, and, of course, OU and Texas are going to be your favorites, of course, in Nebraska, because they'll you know beat up, you beat one of those teams one time and you win the championship. Um, but I really look at it as Texas A&M fans and Texas Tech fans need to be really excited about this year because you could make the case for either of those two teams. I don't think Texas Tech a little bit. It's a, it's it's a little difficult to make the case they'd win the conference. They're definitely going to be competitive, but it's just their defense holds them back. Um, I think on offense, I've said this before, I said in my last video, that Texas Tech has a chance to beat anybody on their schedule uh, with the way their offense is going to be. What same with Texas A&M, great quarterback, great running back, uh, you know, wide receiver, the, great, the offense is excellent, but the, the Aggie defense, even Aggies know that the Aggie defense is far from being any kind of wrecking crew. Uh, it's been pretty pathetic. Um, and But you look at the Texas Longhorns, and, and, and I guess I'll just focus more on the Longhorns from here out, just of why I'm confident in this team. and But my question is as well, when I look at the schedule, when I look at this team, 
and I think about just purely about the offense, forget about everything else, just the offense. I think about Gilbert. I think about the new wideouts not having Jordan Shipley. I think about an offensive line that needs to prove something. I think about a new pro-style offense we're trying to put in and some running backs who are finally going to get their chance to, to run up the gut rather than sideline to sideline, and Cody Johnson's going to start. And I think there's a lot of questions. And you look down that list of games, just thinking about the offense, you think, dang, Tech, can, you know, can we, can we score enough to beat Tech? You know, can we move the ball against Nebraska and Oklahoma? Are we going to keep up with Texas A&M at the end of the year? But when I start to think about the Texas defense by itself, the Texas defense, in my opinion, as of right now before any games are played, is the best defense in this country. Definitely the best secondary in the country. And you're going to have a lot of young guys up front rushing the quarterback. But I, I think about this defense led by Coach Muschamp, I don't see anyone who's got a better D. Nebraska and Oklahoma can make their case and probably make a good case, but in a Texas Longhorn fan's opinion, the Horns' defense is pretty dang good. And I look at that and I think, who can beat us on with that defense? So it's going to be a mixture this year. I, I'm not going to sit here and say that guarantee we're going to win all our games, but I'm not going to tell you we can't win all these games. Um, this is not. It's a it's a tough schedule, but it's definitely not uh, undoable. I talked, we you know I talked about that four game stretch starting with at Lubbock, then home against UCLA, then Dallas against Oklahoma, then ending that one that stretch in Lincoln after the bye. That's going to be rough, but I don't look at that as and some people say we're going to lose all four games, which I don't understand that. Um, you know, and you know, of course you got Andre Ware who hates Texas has picked Wyoming to beat the Horns, so uh, he'll get props if that happens, but I, I seriously doubt that. Um, but I look at that. That stretch, and as a Longhorn, though, you don't look at that as, God, can we get one? It's hope we don't lose one. We're not going to lose all four games or even three games. If we worst comes to worst, we'll lose two out of those those four games. Texas Longhorns are not they're not going to lose four or three games out of that stretch. Um, but you know, I, when I listen to people make their predictions, of course we're all biased. I'm wearing a Texas Longhorns hat for crying out loud. Of course I'm going to favor that. But when I hear a Texas Tech Red Raider fan or an Aggie or a Sooner, talk about how they can win the conference, or even or a Husker, um, it's hard for me to say that that's wrong, okay? Because I think all those teams have what it takes to possibly to give them a chance to win this thing. I think Texas Tech's the most suspect because I think they have the most suspect defense. And, you know, Texas A&M has a bad defense, but they have a more proven quarterback. Um, so it's going to be a fun year. It could be like 2008 where we're just beating each other up. Um, is it as good as the SEC? No, I'm not saying that. But from an entertainment perspective and a competition perspective, I think it's going to be pretty dang good. It'll be fun this year. So um, we'll see what happens. A lot of people are picking Oklahoma to win the conference. Uh, you know, the Horns are ranked high, and they're ranked number five right now, which could be too high. We'll find out. You know, in basketball, we definitely rank too high. So we'll see if that translates over to football, hopefully not. But right now, OU seems to be the favorite to win the conference. Hard to argue with that. Landry Jones got a lot of work last year. Defense is going to be good. You know, all those guys who got hurt, the backups had to come in for them. They got a lot of experience, too. So, you know, Oklahoma's going to be good. Uh, but I think the Texas Longhorns, uh, they're not going to be too shabby either. So, it be a fun season, guys. Come on here, rep, the, rep your team, and it's going to be fun. And uh, all I can say is hook them horns, Texas fight, and I can't wait for some daggone football.